Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 98 for the Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add social networking widgets to your website. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is I had a YouTube viewer request on how to add social networking widgets to their website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your web browser. And when you're in your web browser, go ahead and type in www.sharethis.com. So when you type in sharethis.com, go ahead and hit enter, and it'll take you to the website. And when you make it to the website, you're going to look for the option that says Get Sharing Tools, which should be the first option in the navigation menu bar. So go ahead and left click on that. And when you left click on that, it'll take you to their wizard. And the wizard is basically going to guide you through the process of adding a network widget to your website. In this case, in step one, we have to choose the platform. And in this case, we would choose website, which should be the first option selected by default because we're building a separate website. The other systems deal more so with content management systems and blogs, that kind of thing. So if you have one of those systems in addition to this, you may want to go through this process again and choose the other relevant platforms. So after that, let's go ahead and go to the bottom right hand corner of our screen and it'll say in step two that we're going to pick a style. So let's left click that so that we can pick a style. And in the pick style section, there's a few sections. Uh, the first is buttons, the second is bars, and the third is featured. So you would pick whichever style that you want. But in this case, I'm going to choose the option for the buttons, and I want to choose the first one. And then in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, we'll go to the next section, which is how to customize it. And in the customize section, we're, we're basically going to choose what social networking widgets we want to show on our website. And the first thing that you'll see is a preview. And that's basically a preview of what social networking widgets that we currently have in our selected services. And you'll see what I mean when we get to the selected services part. So, and this preview is actually li a live preview. So if you put your cursor over any of the images, they will highlight and show you pretty much how it's gonna operate if you have the social networking widgets on your website. So in the chiclet size section, you'll see that it has large and small. And right now we have large selected. If we choose small, it will make that preview small. If you choose large, it will make it bigger. So if you want smaller networking widget icons, choose small. But I recommend large so that everyone can read it. If someone, if someone wears glasses, they may not be able to see that. In the next section, you have copy and share settings. And that's basically going to allow you to choose how you share your content. In this case, the first option is check by default, measure copy and shares of your website's content. I would keep that checked because you probably want to know how many how many people are copying and sharing your website's content. In the other section, you have measure copy and shares of your website URLs, or basically your dot your dot com or your domain name. How many people are sharing that URL? And you can check that if you want. That's personal preference. In the next section, you'll see that it says drag from sharing buttons or social plugins to selected services. And this is what I was talking about before. The selected services are the services that you currently have that are going to show up on your website. And if you go to sharing buttons, you'll be able to choose buttons that allow you to share. In this case, I want to add Google Plus, so I'm going to left click and drag it over to selected services. And if you look in the preview, we now have Google Plus a part of the list. And the same thing would apply for other social plugins. If you want to drag in other social plugins, you could do so from there and go ahead and left click and drag it in and it would add it to that list. And again, in the preview, you'll see that it adds the Facebook like button. So very simple, very easy to understand uh, process. So once you pick your selected services, you would, oh, and I forgot one thing, you can actually rearrange these services. So if you move them around, you'll see that it also changes in the preview above. So you can change it however you want. And once you get the order proper, you would go ahead and go to the bottom right hand corner of your screen I'm going to drag this down so that you see it a little bit better. And you'll see the option that says finish, get the code. Go ahead and left click that. And a window will pop up. And you got a few options here for signing in. If you already have an account, you can just fill your information in and sign in. If you don't, you will hit create account button. And if you also want to, you can sign in with one of your social networking uh, services. So in this case, I'm going to choose Facebook and this window pops up and it's going to sign me into Facebook. I'm already signed into Facebook so 
because I'm already signed in it automatically sent me through but in your case if you're new to this service you would have to go ahead and sign in and give the application permissions so that you can follow this process so the next thing that we want to look at is multi post versus direct post multi post is going to allow you to do two things it's going to allow you to keep the user on your website if you want to and allow them to share that information or the other option is it's going to allow you to do what direct post does and that is send them directly to the social networking website and share your content but that's going to have them leave your website so multi post allows you to do both it allows you to either keep the user there and it can allow you to send the user directly to the social networking website whereas direct post is on it's going to only send your user directly to that social networking website uh, I like to keep both options available to my user so I'm going to pick multi post so let's go ahead and scroll down and you'll see that there's two sets of code here the first one is copy the span tags and place them where you want them to want them to appear on your website I'm going to choose this first option here and drag and select it all and then hit control C to copy all that information and then let's go ahead and go back to the Xara web designer software we're going to go ahead and go to utilities web properties and when we get to web properties because we're pasting the placeholder we're going to go to the placeholder tab and on the placeholder tab we're going to make our changes but we need to draw an object in our workspace so I'm going to draw a rectangle for the placeholder and you'll see that the options become enabled so that make sure you have a, a quick shape in your space so that you can go ahead and paste this code for that quick shape as the as the the placeholder you'll see what I mean so click on the HTML code body section and we click on the body section go ahead and hit control V you're gonna paste that code that we copy and hit OK and then we hit apply and I'm gonna regenerate placeholder so I'm gonna hit apply again and it should regenerate the placeholder it may not show the image it may see in this case it didn't show the image so if it doesn't do that my recommendation is to go to your color editor at the bottom here and select one of the colors and hit fill color that way you can know where your images are placed at and then let's go ahead and go back to our web browser and we're going to go to the next section that says copy the script tags and place them inside and at the end of your head tag so let's go ahead and copy this I want to left click and drag over all that content hit control C to copy go ahead and go back to your uh, program and this time we're going to paste the HTML code in the head section and go ahead and hit control V hit OK and then hit apply and when I hit apply you see that it now shows the social networking widgets before it didn't show it right away because I didn't have all the code that was necessary for it to display that but now that I have all the code correctly integrated, integrated into the software it now shows the social networking icons so I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already applied the effects that I want you could hit OK but it's gonna regenerate that placeholder again and I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna hit hit cancel in this case and then if we go ahead and go to file preview website I'm gonna preview web page because I don't want to preview the whole website actually so that's how you add your social networking widgets to your website and you know once you actually upload your website to the internet it should function correctly mine may not function correctly because I'm not actually having my content physically on the server right now it's just a preview but when you upload it to the internet it should behave 100 percent correctly so that's the reason I'm not going to actually walk you through the whole process of actually clicking on the buttons because I haven't actually uploaded it to my website but yeah that's how you use social networking widgets if this tutorial was helpful embed subscribe leave thumbs up uh, you know comment let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day